Hey there, welcome to Bare Knuckle Binder. Today, I figured I'd uh, do something a little different here and uh, make a little introduction to the channel since I never really did that in the beginning. I just started fixing stuff. Um, my name's Eric. I've been around international trucks and tractors my entire life. I grew up in uh, southwestern Wisconsin in the heart of farmland. Worked on a dairy farm for many years. Then I, I moved to Austin, Texas when I was 19 and I've uh, been a professional musician ever since. Right now, with coronavirus and everything that's going on, I've got a lot of time on my hands since the whole music industry shut down and touring's on hold for everything. All my gigs got canceled. So I figured it would be a great time to start a channel about how to work on and fix things with old international trucks since uh, it's just something that I never got away from and I have a few trucks. So uh, I guess first off, I'll, I'll walk you up here. I'll gotta, little dog here that's BB um, so first off got this uh, 1945 m5 h6 she's uh she's ugly but it's cool uh, it started life as a World War two deuce and a half my buddy and I uh, late last year bobbed it down to a giant four-wheel drive here but so it's it's kind of like a giant power wagon now so this is a truck that I've been doing most of the, the videos on right now. Uh, because even though I live in Austin, my parents still live here in Wisconsin. And with coronavirus, it gave me a chance to travel a lot more up here. My dad's been going through some health issues, and so I've been finding a good reason to come up here and help out around the property. It's a great time to fix up stuff on these old trucks, which, you know, when we're on the road all the time in other places, you really don't have time to work on it. This is a truck that I've been, you know, putting in the window glass, swapped transfer case, swapped rear axle. I'm gonna be doing some other stuff here in the very near future on this. In Austin though, I have a 49 KB2 pickup, which is my daily driver. On that truck, I have some more stuff to do. There's always a project on an old truck. I mean, tell me I'm wrong. This truck here is a 57 S120 four wheel drive. Um, it was the last year of the S series. And behind it there is a 57 A120 four-wheel drive, which was the first year of the A-series. I had to say that for the most part, uh, especially like with my KB2, I like to leave stuff as stock or as original as possible. Um, however, on the S120 and of course the big guy here, these trucks were pretty butchered or it's going to take a lot of, of work to save them. So. I love to see an original survivor truck be kept original, but I'm gonna probably stray from the path a little bit on these. I'm not a rat rod kind of guy, but um, I'll definitely show you some stuff that you can use if that's the route you're taking that still looks old school without um, sacrificing some of the, the benefits of a little more modern technology. So I'm not talking about putting computers in these. Computers don't belong in old trucks because computers don't leak oil. This guy, the A120, is actually the truck I learned to drive in when I was a kid sitting on the Madison phone book. Um, I think I was 12 years old or something. I can't remember. It was a long time ago. This truck has seen better days. One of the problems with the A series and going forward was the internal hinges made it extremely susceptible to rust. And you can see the driver's door has fallen clean off. Now this A120 has now become a parts truck for the S120 because the A120 is just so rusted out from being out in the Wisconsin winters and the S120 is uh, it's still pretty solid. It has some rust issues that I got to deal with. The cab corners are a problem. There's some spots in the bed I got to deal with. Uh, floor pans are 
pretty rusted out, but at the same time, they're mostly just flat sheet metal, which is an easy fix. Um, the thing about the S120 right now that um, is a damned bother is the fact that it's a three on the tree column shift. And while I don't mind driving a column shift uh, old car or truck, I hate it in a four wheel drive truck. It's just too, it's too light. And actually the original, um, the original transmission out of this, this truck was parked when I bought it. The old farmer I bought it from was using it to plow snow um, and the three on the tree column shift transmission actually busted apart uh, pushing snow for or as he the farmer described it as it clum a gear so this truck's nickname is clum uh, so actually what it turned out was this old b100 here had a column shift transmission that just bolted right in so I've been able to move this thing around. Uh, the first project with this thing is gonna be uh, adding brakes to it because it does not have brakes. The wheel cylinders are all shot. Um, and then uh, I'd like to swap the badass four on the floor transmission from the A120 to the S120. And of course they have the same transfer case. So I have a spare transfer case now. Um, of course, this does not mean my love affair with a a120 is over. I just need to find another one that's solid. I see them pop up from time to time. Just haven't found mine yet. Uh, then behind me here, this is a B100 that when I was a kid, my dad bought that for a parts truck for the A120. Uh, the A120, he actually got before I was born a few years uh, because he needed a truck to haul wood. He needed a cheap four wheel drive truck. Um, so that was a truck I grew up with. What eventually led to it not being used anymore is, uh, so on these four wheel drive internationals, they use Dana 44s, closed knuckle, uh, axles. So the spindle bushing on the inside, when it gets worn out, there's a little brass bushing. I say little, it's because I've been used to working on this giant army truck. It's got this spindle bushing that when it wears out the the universal joint of the, the drive axle inside starts knocking on it and it actually busted the axle. Uh, so after the four wheel drive got knocked out of it, yeah, it's really not too useful around here. So we can't forget old reliable here. This is my 1941 Farmall M. This is, if anybody knows about Farmall M's, Farmall M is the greatest tractor ever built, bar none. So a lot of stuff with these. We'll be doing some stuff with uh, the KB2 when I get back to Austin. And of course, hauling this S120 back to Austin. Also, in the other videos, the earlier videos, we saw Lucille. This is BB King. BB. He's a good boy. That's BB. All right, so anyway, y'all have any questions, comments, uh, stuff you want to see me work on these trucks? Uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. Yeah, I guess uh, it's time to get to work.